Hey guys, welcome to the lab. Today we're gonna to talk about some movements you can add into your warm-ups when you're about to do some pulling movements like rowing or pull-ups. Uh, these movements are gonna help wake up your lats, wake up your shoulders, get them into a good position so that you stay safe and you're gonna perform better, okay? The first one we're gonna talk about is just maintaining an active shoulder and the active hang. So an active hang is where you're hanging off the bar, pulling into that active position and holding it for 20, 30 seconds, right, and doing a couple sets of that in your warm up. That's just gonna kind of wake up your shoulders and say, hey, I'm about to do a bunch of pulling work, so let's get this basic position dialed in, right? Second one you can do is the scat pull up. So this is really good, especially if you feel like maybe your active position isn't super, super strong. It's going from a non active shoulder into an active shoulder, back and forth, and not rushing it. This is not a for time movement. So you wanna feel each one of those positions, get a big strong contraction, and kinda of keep the reps to a medium uh, prescription. So maybe six to eight reps, drop off. It can be really fatiguing if you're not used to them, okay? So those are two really basic movements. Once you start dialing those two in, you can add in what's called the uh, gymnastics kip or the beat swing, okay? So the beat swing is kind of the foundation of all those different gymnastic pulling movements. Uh, your kipping pull up, your butterfly pull up, your muscle up, and then many, many more. Those are the basic CrossFit ones, right? But basically what you're teaching your body to do is create momentum through the hips, transfer it through your core, right? And if your shoulder's not active, you're not gonna be able to put that energy into your pull up. So maintaining the active shoulder while you're moving through that beat swing, we wanna think about reaching for the floor with your toes, right? and then staying as tight as possible. You'll see a lot of people will bend their knees and their beat swings. If you can keep that really tight, make that motion really, really quick, you're gonna get more power into your pull-ups. So make sure you try those movements out in your warm-up. See how they feel when they translate into your pull-ups in your workout or maybe uh, your strength work that you're doing that day. Try them out.